this building behind me incorporates about 5,000 years of lost architectural knowledge. And the architect of this building ingeniously wove into the building uh, symbols and metaphors and allegories that not only relate to the secret society he was a member of, Freemasonry, but the history of Western civilization. The, the last thing I ever expected is that I would stumble upon a mystery in my own backyard, and it happened by accident. I was driving by uh, this building, which I'd seen thousands of times growing up here, and I spotted something on the roof that eluded me and probably many people in Manitoba for nearly a century, and that, uh, that's the two recumbent sphinxes uh, directly behind me. And that sent me on a quest. I needed to solve this riddle of the Sphinx. However, not in Egypt, but here in my backyard. There is no building like this anywhere in the world. I've traveled throughout Europe and um, I've never seen anything of this style. And the reason I, I stress this is because it not only contains this whole canon of Western civilization, but more uniquely than any other building that I'm aware of, or that's been documented, it also contains this secret language called the Hermetic Code. There were many moments when I thought that I was truly stumbling upon something unique, but perhaps the most remarkable was when I'd seen within the architect's own writings that he placed a series of numbers that he used to design this building, and then I end up recovering those numbers in their exact form throughout the building. So a kind of like a Hansel and Gretel story, he left a series of breadcrumbs hoping to be figured out and there I was knowing full well that I was solving a riddle that he left for us nearly a century ago. I've toured about 25,000 people to this building but there was one encounter that I was truly marveled by and that's when I had the opportunity to tour the Prince of Wales. But what he didn't know is that the room I'd introduced him to was a reconstruction of the greatest temple ever constructed, but unfortunately destroyed over 2,600 years ago. And I reminded him that the, the room we were standing in was an exact mirrored copy of a room in this ancient temple. And he said, extraordinary, marvelous. And I thought, ah, if you can get a hook for the Prince of Wales, I guess you're on. <laughs>